It's always been super important for us to have uh, home productivity offerings for all of our customers to have when they purchase new PCs. We really want that out-of-box experience to be great for customers when they buy a new PC. And for the past 20 years, Microsoft Works has been filling that role as the basic productivity offering for Microsoft. We decided a couple of years ago that we wanted to provide our customers with an even better experience. We chose to build a new offering based on Office 2010. With Office Starter, we really wanted to make sure we nailed the basic home productivity tasks that users will want to accomplish. To do this, we started by drawing upon our rich experience with Microsoft Works. We went back to those customers and we looked at some of the things they use Works for, writing newsletters, doing resumes, managing a home budget. We used that as the foundation for what the basic tasks are that we would want people to accomplish with Office Starter 2010. Office Starter contains Word Starter and Excel Starter. Those are reduced functionality versions of two of our more popular Office applications, Word and Excel. Office Starter 2010 doesn't contain Outlook, OneNote, or PowerPoint. So one of the great things about Office Starter is that it picks up all of the rich UI that Office 2010 provides. And it also gives sort of this seamless and common UI approach across all of the Office products. For users who never used Office before, this is a great chance to familiarize themselves with the ribbon, understanding even new features in Office 2010 like the backstage, and really understanding what working in Office is like. If a user starts with Starter and gets familiar with the way that it works and they start to really enjoy the efficiency of using the Office file format, using the UI in Office Starter, they're really going to be set when they have more advanced needs than what Starter can meet. They're going to have a great position to upgrade and to experience the, the more advanced features. One of our big design goals with Office Starter was to provide a simple and seamless way for customers who use Office Starter to upgrade to one of the full Office products should they decide to do that. So Office Starter is different than a trial in the sense that there's no expiration for it. You can continue using it until your needs exceed what Starter can, can give you. And at that point, it's really easy for you to then seamlessly upgrade to a different version of Office with advanced features and new functionality. Not only is it easy to do, but we ensure that when you've upgraded, all of your documents come across. There's no conversion or anything that needs to happen. Everything's there for you. One of the other big differences in Office Starter 2010 is that we built this new task pane where users can quickly access a getting started guide, clip art, templates, and other content that can help them get started with their tasks. In the bottom of this pane, we've also built a display ad control that allows us to show advertising. One of the things that personally I'm excited about is I think that Users of Works traditionally have looked at Office and said, that's something that I aspire to and that's something where I one day maybe I'll go and I'll be an Office user, but now I'm a Works user. I'm excited about those customers kind of coming together in a sense and, and saying everyone now is an Office user. So even with the person with the most basic productivity needs, they can use Office Starter and they're in the Office family now.